Make I update to now see the heart. But the idiots, knock them the update. <laughs> <laughs> President Buhari, don't start fire inside the rabbit hole. Now only the fearless and the courageous rabbits don't escape so far. What happened to the other rabbits? We still they trapped inside the hole. <laughs> we will find out very soon. This is our discussion today. Make we digest this parable. My name is A.D.S. Oh yeah, make we run this matter as in the heart. No time. Watch this video. The money from the federal government to save government, say it's a hundred million. Let's put it a hundred million. Fifty million will be sent to the channel with a letter that he will sign that he received a hundred million. The donor will focus the balance and share it with whoever he wanted. And then the chairman of the local government will see how much he must be in salaries to help go to development. Money for the salaries will be given and the balance will put in his pocket. This is what's happening. This is Nigeria. So, it's a matter of conscience. The fundamental thing is personal integrity. May God help us. That's my President Buhari accusing state governors of stealing the money for the local governments, which has further increased infrastructural decay and poverty in the rural areas. President Buhari talks say, the governors divide the money for the local governments. And waiting go remain, eh? No go do the local governments to do their work. So, the officials of the local governments, eh? Them go collect, that way we remain, eh? Pocket them. As he no reach to do anything. So, he go enter their pocket. <laughs> the question now, now say, why are local governments yet to gain autonomy? Autonomy means freedom to stay or to be on their own. Them say we they run three tiers of government: the federal government, the state government, and the local government. And these tiers of government supposed to get uh, autonomy or freedom. Now, make I tell you why it no be like that. I'll be encyclopedia of waiting to happen. Make I just you. <laughs> you go take only 24 states House of Assembly out of 36 states of the Federation to make this thing happen. If 24 states House of Assembly go feel past the law, say, eh, local governments should have autonomy, it go automatically become law across the Federation. The number, eh, where we need here now 24 states house of assembly but why are these states house of assemblies not giving ears to this legitimate concern of the local government being autonomous when i want to the answer they very simple when i want to wait to be the answer corruption these houses of assembly na chihuahua who 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 chihuahua to their governors Make we no lie. Governor Wike of River State and him friend, Governor Samuel Otham of Benue State, don't come out to challenge President Buhari to name the governors eh, where they thief local government money. Them also swear say, eh, them never for one day take anything where belong to the local government since where them enter office in 2015. Oh yeah, make we hear Wike and Otham Confess. <laughs> what? I want to challenge Mr. President. Mr. President, you're a leader. And we believe as leaders, you must come out and tell Nigerians who are those committing this offense. You said the governors are taking local government funds. I want to say, in the name of Almighty God, I've never touched local government funds one day. I have never, 
and I have no reason to do that. So, Mr. President, tell us who are those people. You know them, tell us. It is no good to say what you call class defamation, they say governors. Please, I'm not one of those uh, governors. I'm not. I'm not. So, Mr. President, please spare me. Tell Nigerians that the integrity governors are not part of them. We have integrity. We are not part of them. I join Governor Wicked to appreciate Mr. Pros President for his contribution to growth. But I know that many people are frustrating him. Some who are his advisors and ministers and close allies, they are advising him wrongly. It is a logical fallacy to say that all governors are criminals. All governors are stealing from local government. I joined Governor Wiki to say it from 2015. Let EFCC come in. Let ICPC come. Let every other agency that can on earth this, as far as Benway State is concerned, let them bring it out. How many governors feel come out openly like this to challenge Mr. President on this issue? We can say him G5 governors, not integrity governors, and say they no go ever thief from the local government. Uh, but we can, relax, calm down. I beg your pardon, I beg. One of you, okay, Zia Ibazo, now the governor of my state. I don't know for the other governors who, but can. Okay, Ibazo of Abia State come out openly to defend himself on this issue as one of uh, integrity governors. On I know why they talk this thing. That state, he don't pafoka. Nothing remain for that state again. Now my state, now me go tell on awaiting the sub. Finally, this country, they very rich. What we say, we not suppose get any business with poverty. You suppose we say as poverty they see us. If they run, they go far. They don't talk and say, out of over 200 million Nigerians, 133 million Nigerians, they live inside poverty. This number, now big problem. Kai, 200, 133, they live inside poverty. What's up? How rich is this country? Make we find out from uh, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Showare. Watch. The uh, RMA uh, RFC, that's the Revenue Mobilization Organization, uh, agency of the government, said there are 11 million, tri 11 trillion naira, 11 trillion, you heard it from me, of all remitted revenues from you know, revenue generating agencies of government, 11 trillion. There are oil companies owing royalties, royalties in this country up to almost six billion dollars six billion dollars if you get that you don't need to go and borrow money from china uh, we have the nlng that is the body that is uh, that we invested in through uh, the nmpc uh, in gas they have not given us or told us publicly how much we get in terms of return on our investment uh, in, uh, because they swore to an out of secrecy never to release this money publicly to the Nigerian people. The last time we heard about it was 4.5 billion or thereabout that they released when Buhari first came into office. Ever since then, have you heard about that? No. So I'm telling you that already, just by telling you three places, we have been able to track how we can get you know money that is enough for the 2023 budget. So stop asking me where to get money from we have money our problem is that we have money in wrong hands let the nigerian people get their own money i want to renationalize the nmpc because it has become a burden on nigerians as a private entity at any rate you don't privatize what belongs to the people without consulting with the people and then you put individuals who are members of your political parties and cronies as the managing director and the rest and they are telling us the central bank governor told you that the NMPC has not repeated, limited a dime almost in a year now to the federation account. So why won't your uh, foreign uh, reserve be depleted right. when, you know, the, the, when the 
there were so many thieves stealing from it and hiding it away from the people. An economic system or a group of economic uh, managers that pushes your country, 133 million people into poverty, should be on the run. That's the truth. Is that a crime against humanity to put 133 million people into poverty and announcing it gleefully? 11 trillion naira of unremitted revenue from revenue generating agencies of the federal government. Number one, multinational oil companies owing royalties up to six billion dollars. Number two, this is now where money they owe. NLNG, a body the government invested in through NMPC, never tell us what will be the return on our investments. And the reason I say, because eh, they don't swear out of secrecy to keep this information from eh, Nigerian people. All these things now show what they talk about. Oh, now they hear me. Okay. The first time we hear from NLNG, I be NLNG, eh, eh, that's what they call them. Now, when Buhari first enter office and them tell us, eh, eh that time, say now nah, around 4.5 billion naira, eh. Now we don't make so far from the L N L N N L N G. I beg your pardon. Forgive my pronunciation. <laughs> Since that time, reach now. Nobody don't hear anything from that uh, N L N G again. Then another one we money day. The Central Bank of Nigeria be also talk say eh, NMPC never pay even one kobo into the federation account in almost one year. Now where our money they be this way? This country get money. Who tell you say this country no get money? Eh? You don't know what they talk. This country get money. But the problem now say the money they with the wrong, wrongest, wrongfulness people you can ever find in this world. They are in Nigeria here. God I beg you help this country. Now only you go feel help this country. When I say all this is why I don't call out now. Now we have money they Six billion dollars, they somewhere. Eleven trillion, they somewhere. L N L N G, N L N G, their own. We we'll never know anything about them. Central bank, they talk say over one year now. Eh, 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 eh. NMPC never remit even one kobo to federation accounts. And did they borrow money? Did they borrow? <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> In conclusion, our country, you know the work. We need to fix them. On the hear me. Get ready for 2023. Now, make I give you this legit information. It will help you. According to INEC, PVC collection will begin on Monday, the 12th of December. On the hear me. December, why are they talking about this year? 2022. And it will close on Monday, 23rd of January, 2000 and 2023. That's the next year. I beg you, go collect your PVC. Go collect your PVC. It's time to change Nigeria for good. Not be the kind of change we want party they promise you. Eh -eh. Now we now they talk the change we want. What be that change? Positive change. Change for good. And for that change to come, my brother, my sister, fellow Nigerians, go and collect your PVC. Let's make Nigeria work again so that everybody go to lick cold stone ice cream. Everybody go to chop uh, uh, tastier chicken. Everybody go to chop Mr. Biggs. They only forget they enjoy for this country. Now we get the money. But it is for wrong people's hand. So make we come out them from their hand. Give them to the people. And to do that, go and collect your PVC. I'll go see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, wait. You don't collect updates, you won't run away, Abi. Mbalo, Biko, 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 subscribe, subscribe. Enjoy, Biko, Da'ala, subscribe. Okay.